raise your hand if you enjoy snorkeling or diving or would like to have that experience someday. Well, I think you and I have just made a connection. We love hanging around in the ocean. Well, my life in the ocean actually began as a snorkeler. But one day, a close friend said to me, Hey, Joy Joy. And by the way, that's my nickname. I think you should go get a diving certification because the things that you see deeper down in the ocean can be much more interesting than what you're seeing right now as a snorkeler. And that day, another dive guide came to me and said, hey, miss, would you like to join us for this dive? Because all you need is this discovery dive, which doesn't require any certification. Hmm, for a moment, I thought about it, and with a little bit of reluctance, I strapped on a 40-pound tank on my back with the vest and my flippers. I took my regulator up into my mouth. Go. I leap into the ocean. As I splash in, I saw something so far away that was a big sea turtle greeting me. At that time, I got hooked and addicted to diving. <laughs> because the things that you see down there is so spectacular and so unbelievable that it is not the same as what you see in the aquarium or at SeaWorld. And I strongly recommend that you go try to discover dive if you can in your life. And so one day, I did go get my certification and learn to manage the tank on my back and to control my breathing, just like in meditation. And I finally realized, too, why I was diving. When I was a beginning diver. I used to take underwater photography of larger animals that we often see in the news or in the media, such as the whale shark. <laughs> Well, on so many dive trips, what the other people were all looking for, manta rays and sharks and sea turtles, I discovered something that was many million and zillion times smaller than those larger creatures. And I felt so much in love with it because it should also be protected as much as these larger animals. And this tiny creature is called this word right here, which I'm going to be talking about today. And you must all wonder, what does this word mean? You know, when I introduced this word to my students, and they were asking me, uh, is it a tree or a tree branch without any clothes on? And you know what <laughs> two of my students drew? This right here. <laughs> <laughs> And, well, you know, <laughs> well, this word is actually pronounced nudibranch. Can you please say this word with me? Nudibranch. And this is what a nudibranch looks like. This. And this is what I discovered in every dive. And I can keep clicking. There's so many different forms of shapes and sizes of these sea slugs. They're so beautiful. I can't wait until my, my spring trip that's coming up in two months because I'm going to meet more and more of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them. Well, I might not be a marine biologist, but let me just briefly tell you what they are. Nudibranchs actually mean uncover lungs, which means that they breathe with their external gills. They are marine gastropod mollusks that live everywhere in the ocean waters around the world. And their vibrant colors pretty much come from the food that they eat, such as corals, sponges, algae, sometimes even their own eggs, and their nudibranch friends. <laughs> <laughs> and their wild colors pretty much tell their predators, hey, you, back off. I don't want you to come and eat me here. And the cool thing is that whenever I go in to look for their heads and 
where their eyes are, they're so tiny. And that means they have really poor vision and they only see bits of shadows here and there. And one time I even saw them fertilizing eggs that goes in beautiful spirals and they look like a bunch of ribbons. And so many years that I have been reading so much about the Nudie Brown book and I, I actually have this one that I love flipping through the pages. There's so many photographs that are so colorful. I learned that there are so far about 3,000 identified species of Nudie Browns around the world. But yet there's so many more still waiting to be discovered in our mysterious oceans. And it's so small that it's also camouflaging itself that it is so hard for divers to see them. When I'm talking to my friends who are divers around the world on my trips, they have been reporting to me that over the years, it has been coming very challenging to spot them. Why? Is it because of their larger predators like sea turtles or fish that have been eating more and more of them? The truth is, their greatest predators are not from the ocean. We, the human beings, have been the largest threat to these nudibranchs. This is due to water pollution, loss of marine habitats due to unsustainable fishing practices, biodiversity decline, and also what I see all the time when I go down diving, which really bothers me. Global warming that has been damaging corals where the nudibranchs live or eat. And when I was researching online more about the coral reefs, it is so surprising that according to the World Wildlife Fund, that about a, a quarter of our coral reefs around the world are damaged with another two thirds that are in serious threat. So if this continues, does that mean that the nudie browns are gonna become extinct? So does that mean that I'm gonna not see them anymore? My next question for you is please raise your hand if you have seen a piece of garbage or a litter around your living, working, or school environment for the past week. Yes, and you must have felt a little bit uncomfortable or uneasy about it. When I go diving each time, this is what I find. And that's only one time, a pile of garbage in one hand that comes from all over the place. And how do you think the nudie Bronx will feel about this? in their living environment. Before I became a diver, I've never imagined that there will be so much trash so far down in the ocean. And at that time, I imagined that as if so much trash have traveled all the way back down to me in the ocean while I'm diving. It is so true that our human actions have been the worst threat to the needy Bronx. It is so easy to forget about the larger, the smaller marine habitats when the media usually focuses on their larger ones. So why is it so important for us to care about these new bronze when it looks like I'm the only one here who cares about them more than anyone else in the world? Well, let me just tell you something how we humans benefit from the new bronze. First, Divers, like me, love to go down and see Nudie Bronx to take underwater photography so that we can produce artistic portfolios. Divers congregate together in so many different communities online or even on our trips to discuss about how they behave in possible newly discovered Nudie Bronx. Moreover, according to science journals like Life Science, there has been reports where researchers have been gathering data from the sea slugs to study their brains for the, the simple nervous system on the processes of learning. And also, do you know that new debrons have become to the key to developing new medicine to help us humans in many, many ways? So that puts us humans in the community with the new debrons, even if you might not be a diver. So, 
it is time for us humans to cooperate together in helping these new debunks and to save them. So how can we do that? Well, I, I came up with this acronym for you, so easy for you to remember. And it is called SLUG, <laughs> slug, after the nudibranchs. So what does that mean? S is for sharing. L is for lowering. U is for understanding. And G is for guiding. Now, because I am an elementary school teacher and I teach grade four, and my students, there's some of them here, who have come, come up with a lot of gestures for you to remember, and they're very interesting. So they would like to invite you to stand up because they would like to teach you how to remember that. Come on, let's stand up here. <laughs> Sitting down there for two hours is not good for you. And you know that there is strong evidence that movement connects to learning. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so Miss Judy, right here, would like you to start from your finger and going outwards to draw an S for your mouth to share information about the needy Bronx. So, the information that you learned from me today, please share them with your friends, families, and the people around them and encourage them to also share that with others so the world becomes more and more aware of the needy Bronx community. If you are a diver, please make sure that you join the Facebook community such as Nudie Bronx Central. Let's <laughs> share and spread the words out. Yay! <laughs> Next, Melinda would like to have you make a cool pose like this. And you're going to lower the amount of carbon footprint, such as the plastic products that you use, like your plastic bags. You're going to lower that so that it stops entangling the coral reefs, and that's where the nudie bronc lives. And also, you're going to lower the amount of electricity that you use because we're going to try to stop global warming. All right, next is little Sophie would like you to grow a pair of nudie bronc rhinopores in the form, the shape of you. And this is for understanding more about the nudie bronx. You educate yourself through online researches, reading books, and even talking to others or watching films or documentaries so you understand more about the community of the nudie Bronx. Annika would like you to hold yourself in the front and guide other people. You're making a G to guide the people around you. Model positive behaviors above and below the ocean waters. Please encourage the younger generation to reduce, recycle, and reduce Reuse and recycle. And we're going to do this all, and I want you to give each other a high five because you have just made the first step in saving the New Debunk community. Please sit down. <laughs> now, I today have a goal to put the human community with the nudie brown community. And I have found a purpose in my life and where I belong in the world by putting these two communities together into one. How are you going to take action starting from today in building that one community? Let us share this planet together so that our one community can live with love, happiness, and health. Thank you. Woo!